Welcome to NISCAST. My name is Lennon, I can do some time. My name is Jason, aka Lennon's dad. We were on episode 57 of NISCAST. 57? I sounded different when I said it, like 57. Mm. Like, I don't know, it sounded yeah. fancy like it's something. 57? 57. Wowzers! <laughs> we should start incorporating that into our vocabulary. Wowzers! Wowzers? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that good. that's up there with like Willy Nilly and what yeah. was the other one? Uh, uh, I can't remember. Like Old Spy Me. Huh? Elsewhere? No, it was like a Willy Nilly where it was like two words that like rhymed. Flip flop. Flippity flap. Flim flam. <laughs> flip flam. <laughs> no. Like just old timey words. Oh, nice. What episode are we on again? 57. 57. Oh, it just cooled down. It was 103 degrees. And we're getting set up now, it's dropped to 102. It's crazy, I can't. Nice. UV is low though. Yeah, that's, that's nice. If you want to go to the pool or something. Yeah, so if you notice the, the bright light we have here, it's mm -hmm. really no fancy light, it's just window in yeah. Texas and summer. And we were earlier than yeah. usual. So it's uh, as always, kind of, not as always, but like, what should we do it about today? Mm. 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 So we can. Of course, looking for ideas as Google, <laughs> and it was you know, something about book, book reviews, books like books. Yeah, for What was well, the last book you even read? I mean, uh, I know you read a lot more than me, obviously, but... Yeah, but... Hmm. Is it like... Oh, I read it one in... One of those, like... Yeah, some, for, like, state testing. Mm -hmm. um, we weren't allowed to do anything, really, so I just had to read a book, and it was one of my favorites. Oh. In the series, it's oh. Waste of Space in Moonbase Alpha. Oh, which I remember. oh, that's right. I think we talked about Moonbase Alpha. Yeah, kind of silver yeah. habit. I'll send you the the link. Okay. No wait for the incident. So this is some conversation starters, real world. Mm -hmm. Is but this one's a little bit different than the usual random question generator. Yeah. This is funny questions to ask. Mm -hmm. Some might be funny. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some might not be funny. None could be funny, but <laughs> could be interesting. Okay. So we'll go through them, see how it goes. Maybe some we'll talk more about some. Yeah. But okay. what, what I want to just rapid fire. We want to talk, not for like, not that one episode where we did like two questions. Yeah. But not. Yeah, rapid mix fire. it up. Some are rapid fire episodes, some are like more in depth. But this yeah. will, maybe this will be in between depending on the questions. Mm -hmm. Unless they're so funny that we just can't stop laughing, which <laughs> kind of have, I doubt it. But yeah. okay. Um, I'll ask you. Okay. Is cereal soup? Why or why not? I mean, okay. I have a different answer. I just thought of this. No. It needs broth. Well, what soup doesn't have broth? Cream of mushroom? That's because that? that's cream of mushroom. And chicken? But, what is the cream? Okay. Tomato soup? soup? That's tomato. Is milk like a cream? or? What is a broth, broth anyway? I don't know. It's a good idea. Uh, say I would ask Google, but he probably would go into some long-winded. Here, let me show you the yeah. top ten definitions of broth. <laughs> okay. A broth is a soup consisting of meat or vegetable chunks, often rice cooked in stock. So then, what's stock? Okay. Actually, what is soup? Maybe <laughs> we could just ask that. <laughs> um. Let me look at the. What's your own personal thing? I just like. A I would think it. Not soup. A, a broth served hot with mm. meat or vegetable. Yeah, that's what I would say too. Uh, like cold soup would okay. work. Okay, uh, a stock is a liquid made by cooking bones, mm. meat, fish, or vegetables slowly in water, used as a basis for, for the preparation of soup, gravy, or sauces. So it must contain stock, like veggie form. Okay, so uh, unless I'm uh, kind of Cereal well, like, we're eating here, like it says also in gravy or sauces, so like tomato sauce, tomato soup, okay, cream. So is cereal soup? No. Cereal. Let's see why. Let's see why is cereal not soup? First off, it's not. It's not served hot. Okay, really. that's good. I would say it could be considered soup because you use a spoon. That's. I'm still saying it's not, but I'm just trying mm -hmm. to play oh, yeah, both it's sides soup. here. Um, what would make it a soup? A, it's a liquid with solid food in it. Um, solid food. It's served in a bowl. It's, it's, a yeah. liquid. <laughs> it's like if you're, sometimes it makes you feel better, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um, I Maybe mean, not like healthy wise, but you're like, yeah. oh, I'm sad. It's 102 degrees. Oh, wow. What a refreshing 
soup. Bowl of soup, cereal. Um, what else? It's. You liquid. can't put crackers in ice cream Ugh. or cereal. I mean. Well, I mean, who's this? Why don't but you know crackers? what? I, I don't think I was talking about ice cream. I was thinking soup. Hmm. Okay, so no, you. Cereal can make some happy stuff. I guess it's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there's no no crackers in soup, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna have to say that for me, cereal is not a soup. Yeah, sir. Now I'm curious if anybody even says it could be a soup. Unless, what if you had cereal, but instead of milk, you use like broth? That'd be gross, first off, but it's technically would be a cereal. It's like, it's grain cereal. Yeah. Yeah, cereal is just pretty much grain. But if you had sugar. Rice Krispie treats, like rice. Rice cereal. Rice oh, it's, I mean, in the definition of stock or broth, it said something about, something about rice. So does that count? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, it just sounds. See, this would be if we had actually like some cereal and I have some chicken broth uh -huh. in the fridge. We could just try it out and test it. Maybe yeah. it's delicious. Or um, some different white or. Or some like chicken noodle and put it in milk. Oh, uh, what, what would be? What would be uh, worse? Okay, I'm thinking. What would be worse? Would oh, you okay. rather? Yeah, this is for everyone. Would you rather have a cereal, like let's say Fruit Loops? Would you have Fruit Loops served in a broth that's steaming hot, or would you rather have chicken noodle soup minus in, the, in the milk. water and milk? Okay, uh. I go for the. the the Fruit Loops and the broth, since that would, with the milk, like the chicken and milk, yeah. would not mix. Yeah, that's true. I think in a broth, if it's hot, it would kind of just melt. You know what? It could actually kind of, like, dissolve the Fruit Loops, and it could be, like, <laughs> fruit, fruit soup. <laughs> fruit. Ooh, fruit, fruit soup. <laughs> fruit. Fruit. I don't know. Maybe it's Ew. something delicious and, like, oh, it sounds so gross. it's going to be fruit the new soup. thing. I mean, no, fr not fruit soup. Fruit soup. Fruit soup. Fruit yeah, soup. I... I do we? Which one is what would be worse? I'm going yeah, with. I think um, you're right. The the milk. The milk and noodles. Chicken. Chuck. Yeah. Would well, you yeah, have chuck or chuck or <laughs> or loop? Loop. Um, no wait. Floop. Floop. Would you have floop? Chuck or floop? <laughs> See, this is the kind of goal that you want to tune into Miscast, which is available yeah. to watch um, on. Uh, wait. Miscast podcast. Colon four slash four slash beta ready dot m a s c a s t p o d c a s t a period c o m. Right. Or miscastpodcast dot com. Yeah, that works too. Whichever way. All right. So let's see. Now your turn. You can pick one to ask me. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Wait, no. I don't want to do that one. Uh. Hmm. In 40 years, what will people be nostalgic for? Okay. Nostalgic. So, that's kind of a tricky question. Do you think, okay, what is something that's not going to be relevant then? I mean, like podcasts? So. And you can't go, like, in the future, like, just, like, in, the, in like space technology where you can yeah. visualize dreams or whatnot. But it seems, like, kind of overboard. Just, like... Um, what's it called? Like, sensible advancements. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe phones with eye tracking software. Okay. Um, they would be... Gasoline cars. I mean, but it's just that we stopped it to it. I don't, like... No, well, in 40 years, I mean, like, I remember yeah, when we had gasoline cars. Like, would you want to go back to that time? That's the nostalgia. Yeah, I'd want to go back to gasoline cars, like, okay. like electric cars. Oh, that's I mean, weird. I mean, I, I mean, electric cars. I, I don't no, know. I wouldn't mind one. I mean, I just in the middle about them. I'm, I've, I've been stuttering for the past ten seconds. That yeah. was less than ten. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, yeah, gasoline what? cars. I mean, that's what I think, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe maybe gasoline engines, or cheerfully, I mean, maybe... That's not bad. No, I was gonna say, like, COVID. Yeah. But, like, I mean, people will have memories. 
mm-hmm. for sure. Of like that would you know that's it. Not to go off too much, but like I think nostalgic. I mean, that's kind of it's sort of a people in forty years will look back. Well, it might be really old, but mm-hmm. but like uh, you'd be able to tell stories of yeah. COVID. Yeah, like, getting through that, like people in the Great Depression know. or like World War Two or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah, this is this is a pretty significant. Like that's thing. like significant for sure. Yeah. Like before this, for me, it was like nine eleven, and you're not nostalgic mm-hmm. at all, but it's like a big event. You know? Yeah. Uh, so I got off on that. But, but yeah, I agree. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So uh, I'd, I'd say gasoline cars for me. That's quite but that's hard to, but you're right, that's kind of hard to say. That's sort of like saying in the future there will be no gas in which I'm sure there won't be. Because isn't there, aren't there like... It's like the EU, is, the, the EU is doing a lot of stuff. Like, yeah. they're regulating a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, um, they're making Apple switch to USB-C by like some year. Interesting. So the EU is doing that. I yeah. thought Apple was just, because I, I heard about that, but... I thought it was just Apple realizing like it was dumb to have their own. It is dumb, though, deal. but of course it yeah. is. But um, uh, they'll probably have USB and like USB C. Like, hey guys, look what we have now. Like, we're, I'm I'm worried about like Max. Since I think they run off lightning cables. Yeah, I've seen the wrong person. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, that's sort of it. Well, our answer. What was the? What were people? I mean, I can't can't speak for like everybody. Yeah, but yeah. Was, so what was your answer? Oh, I didn't know that part No. Uh, just thinking of things right now. Maybe some of the foods, actually. Like, maybe they realize how gross it is to like, eat seafood or something. Mm-hmm. Like, um, and like lobster, like breaking it apart and eating its insides. They realize how how gross that is, and they're like socially it's outlawed. Like cruel to the animal. Right? Oh yeah, animal cruelty. Yeah. That's. I think this. Qu- I think the question would, if it was more, um, what will you be nostalgic for? Yeah. Because that's like an easy. Everyone's kind of like. Like. A broad term. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Here's a. That's a like a waste of a question. How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? Uh yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, that was just uh, like a freebie. Okay, let me ask you this one. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. Okay. I've been waiting years for this argument. Years? So, <laughs> okay. Put it on my phone. Okay, so it goes that way. Okay. You, um, you get, you ask them for ground beef, and this is in the future, they have every single topping you ever want. Okay. You ask them for ground beef on your sandwich. That you ask them to like pat it into a roll like play doh, mm-hmm. and then they put it in the sandwich, and then, um, and you ask for ketchup and mustard and pickle relish, and guess what you have? That's uh, it. Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> a hot dog, but and only if you turn it 90 degrees. So uh, a true. hot dog true. is a sub turned 90 degrees. That's a good way to put it because I was thinking that how's it different? That's true. Let me look at the definition so of... So it's... So. You're right. Because it's... If it was... Now, if it was wrapped all the way around, then it would be a... That'd be a... That'd be a corn dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, or definitions. There's like nothing here. For some... What? What, what uh, a sandwich is? Definitions of sandwich. What is a sandwich? But it's... The question is just a sandwich. Okay. What is a sandwich? Uh, well, the sub sandwich is a sandwich made of a long roll, typically filled with meat, cheese, and vegetables, such as lettuce, tomato, and onions. So it's a long roll of meat. So according to Wikipedia, <laughs> sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese, or meat, placed on between two slices of bread, or more generally, any dish wherein bread serves as container or wrapper. Container or wrapper. For another food type. So, so it's definitely a corn so dog. Sandwich too. Oh, I don't have to think about that anymore. Ah, uh, corn dog is not a sandwich. Yeah. It's oh, a container. Ah, uh, that's. And we need to edit this article. Ew, it's, I mean, it's so strange. Don't mm-hmm. you think that? But, uh, anyways. Yeah, if you got the corn dog, took it off the stick, and then sliced the edges around it, and made like 
can make like a little sandwich. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay, so uh, what was it? A hot dog is a... Is a sandwich. A sandwich. And a even a little extra bonus thing. So some of sandwiches, they have more bread on the top and bottom than the side. And the same for outside buns. The, the side buns are really thick yeah, and then the bottom that. is like just paper, basically. So, yeah, even the bread is the same. So I wonder if you could go, didn't we have this conversation, go to Subway? Yeah, get you like need a, it off, off gas. Yeah, get a sub, but with like just empty, like yeah, a plain one. Or just bring bring your own hot dog. Yeah, it just had to be a really long mm -hmm. hot dog, I guess. A two foot, or you could like a six inch, or a kid's sub. You would think, like. Yeah, I'm, okay. I could do that. I want to do that. Do, do they have like ketchup and mustard at Subway? Um, or do, do they I don't relish? know about ketchup. They might have relish. I don't know. They might have relish. Well, they have. You could just get pickles and get them to chop it up real fine. Yeah. Okay. I want to do that. I want to go to Subway, get a little six inch or a kids sub, mm -hmm. a mini sub. Yeah. yeah and then bring right, my own hot dog and just bonk into in there. it. And, and then yeah. pickle relish. You know what they would charge you? Like what I mean, kind of sandwich did you ask for? <laughs> Can I just get? Uh, I get like a, a six inch. Yeah, a six and inch meatball. Hold the meatball. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a sandwich. Cool. It's interesting that see you've been thinking about that for years and mm -hmm. finally, finally had a chance to yeah to get it through. Okay. All right, um, what do you, what do you got? Turn. What part of a kids movie completely spurred you? What part of a, a kids movie completely spurred you? I don't know. I think it's a good question to answer. A kid's movie. Like something that like was like. one I saw when TV. I was a kid? Yeah. Or like just G or TV PG. Okay. I, mean, I think more like a, what movie did you see as a kid that scarred you? Like I remember, I'm going to go deeper. There was a movie like in 84 called The Day After. And mm -hmm. It was about a nuclear bomb went off. And it was like results like the next day of what happened yeah and it was just sort of like in the 80s and nuclear was really scary hmm. i don't know if it scarred uh, me but um uh i have my answer all right like so with cars whenever like uh lightning meets major mm -hmm. they're like just messing around and then major shows them like counting is it mm -hmm. yeah and then the big the big uh tractor thing i forgot what his name is he comes after them and like they're both run, running away and mm -hmm. The Queen, um, fun fact, he has SIFT suspension since he's a racing car and he's not meant for gravel, so he's bouncing around, bouncing around, and I don't think he's gonna make it. And he's gonna be devoured by the, the harvester dude, tractor. And it was in the night and it had the big lights on and everything. Mm -hmm. It scared me so much. Yeah. We didn't like change it when it was on. No, no. Was, you know? <laughs> Can you watch it now? Uh, I'm not sure. Be, maybe. Be, maybe in 40 years you'll be nostalgic yeah. for that. <laughs> All right. uh, let's see. Um, I don't get this. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, what would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? Uh, huh. I don't know if I'd want any, because I think it would be kind of freaky to see, like, a fly the size of a horse. I think horse you, definitely, you definitely wouldn't choose a fly, the coolest one. Yeah, that's true. I, but, I definitely okay, wouldn't. It'd be easy to kill, though. Yeah. You'd have to imagine that it's been like this since the dawn of time. Okay. And this is nothing out of the ordinary. Like... I don't know. I, I don't know. You come to... It's, 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 it's getting in the mindset of not knowing what they look like already. Like, a seahorse oh. would be cool. Yeah, it'll be. Like, get this. Or it may, I'll go with <gasps> seahorse because you Wait, can ride it. No, I have better. I have better suggestion for you. Mm. A whale, to some horse. Okay. Yeah, uh, that'd it's be less one. frightening. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna be cool. Oh yeah. Not bad. I'm gonna say seahorse. Yes. Okay. Because then, like, it'd be full size, and like you could ride it in the water. <laughs> I just realized the pun. No, was that just unintentional? Now. Just now. Kind of. Um, you have to go with an iguana. They're really cool. Oh, the spiky like ones. seeing a big alligator. It's like a bird. 
but just really big. I don't feel it's a hamster. Mm. Like that wouldn't be cool. That would just be kind of scary. Yeah, they, they can bite. Oh, definitely not rat. They're really big. Mm. Mm. No. It's not an elephant inside the horse. Yeah. I just mm. like elephants. Maybe elephants. Yeah, you do like elephants. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. If you don't have an answer, you can just choose horse. <laughs> My answer is seahorse. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, the Gorna. They're just really cool. Oh. Kevin Bar. Kevin Bar. Yeah, I was waiting for them. I love them. They're so amazing. And the thing I love about them is they look so genuinely disinterested in everything. <laughs> like, I saw this video of, it was like, uh, sitting on a hot spring spa and it had a lemon on top of his head, which is hilarious. <laughs> and then he was just standing there, like, looking for something better to do. Like, yeah. I'm super bored. It's <laughs> quite amazing. But yeah, just a huge chubby bar. And yeah. they're not really, uh, aggressive. Yeah. I imagine petting him already. Um, my turn? Yeah, so you got distracted yeah. with the... <laughs> uh, if animals, animals can talk, which would be the rudest? Animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Yeah. And they'd speak perfectly English. Why? Yeah. Well, thinking about it, we're just kind of rude to them. I mean, they're annoying. And that was, that was well, that's cool. rude, but just because we threatened to kill him. To, to kill them, him, I guess. they're just like trying to get some food and then kill him. But I uh, did still kill him. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. it's a uh, sorry PETA. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm good with that. Um, uh, the cat. Cats. Cats? Yeah, it's like really annoying. Yeah. Like, I mean, like... Kind of aggressive. Yeah, yeah, that's annoying, a good point. True, like, right. They like, bug me, mm -hmm. but just, yeah, they're... They're, they already are rude. They're like, that's they true. Got glass like a dog. That's like, okay. That's a. You know what? I'm gonna have to go with you on that. Like, um, I can imagine this is like, get on my bed, get on my bed, leave, mm. go, shoot. I could, yeah, I could totally see I'm that. Pretty terrible. Yeah. Very good. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, what are some fun ways to answer everyday questions like? How's it going? Bad. Or what do you do? What do you do? Uh, I guess it's just a question, like, instead of saying, like, how's it going, instead of saying fine, or what do you do, I, whatever. I feel like it's all going to want to get that to the teller and just stop saying. Or, mm -hmm. was, is that like a, a dream or something? To who? The teller. Oh, the, uh, like a, not a teller. Cashier. Cashier. At, like, the store. I don't really do nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, that's like on the that's like an on the spot. Oh yeah. And I'm usually pretty quick. It's kind of a joke too. What do you do? Oh, uh, is you that do? like uh, asking your job? Yeah, like what do you oh. do or how's it going? I feel like uh, I feel like I'll probably come up with an answer to that, mm -hmm. but like on the spot. Yeah. So yeah, that one's not. That's not good. I never. I can't think of any. Okay. Everyday questions. Okay. First, think of a product. Like something by the store? Yeah, think of any kind of like a product or like a, even if it's a generic type of product. Okay. Something that's already done to be brand name, okay? Mm hmm. So, what's the product? A uh, yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. Now, what would be the absolute worst brand name for the product? Uh. I don't know. I mean, there's some types of yogurt that are absolutely disgusting. Like, I like. Greek and Icelandic, but there's they, they make oh is it? I think oh, it's like Turkish yogurt. It's really like pretty. Fruity puke would be a bad name for it. Wait, like wait, what's the last one? So like brand names like, or worse? What would be the absolute worst brand name? It's kind of like on whose line? Oh, like world's worst, whatever. Okay, so okay, like I you have too. yogurt. So what would the worst brand name be? Um. Frozen milk. That's pretty much what it is. I go with fruity puke. Hmm. It sounds like. It sounds like if it was brown, but it tasted really good. Yogurt was like well, brownish green. Uh, maybe you don't always puke brown if you eat yogurt. Probably if I eat yogurt, I would puke. Why? It'd be that color. Well, <laughs> if it's like strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he just, ugh, yeah. Oh wow, strawberry. <laughs> right, uh, my turn. Mm, how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? Oh, yeah. They're all pecking at it. Pecking. I would say, gosh, maybe to kill an elephant, gosh. Maybe. It, well, I've, I didn't I've, think about the pecking part, I'm thinking. But you have two situations. One where the elephant doesn't fight back, and one where the elephant does fight back. I'd say the elephant would fight back for sure. I mean, stop one and be like <laughs> chicken. I would say, I don't know, maybe to kill a full size elephant. It'd be like 3,724. Hmm. I have to go with 27,600 and So, like the elephant's odds. I don't know, 27,000 chickens, that's a lot of chickens, mm -hmm. though. You no know, with that many chickens, it would be hard for. But even with that, my number, it would be hard for them to get towards the elephant. Why? Because if you have 27,000 chickens. Mm -hmm. I mean, how are they all going to be up close to them? Like, are they staying on each other's heads or what? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Would just be this random chicken in the back, just standing there? Like, like, state, like, what do you call it? Dive um, or whatever? I mean, they could just be like, uh, I forgot everything I was going to say. Everything, ever. Oh yeah, they could be rotations. Mm. And like, once one fails, and the next person goes, and they go to the back of one or something. It could be, <laughs> maybe. But are chickens like supposed to be some of the dumbest animals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that they're not very smart. So maybe mm -hmm. they wouldn't even figure out to do that. They would just keep going. Yeah, chickens are so stupid. Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe? Maybe. Oh, they're actually pretty smart. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Still think an elephant smart and humongous. Yeah. It's yeah, strange yeah. I like elephants considering I don't like whales or cargo ships or large objects. Yeah. Alright, I have yeah. a last one. Mm hmm. Hey, I miss it. Um hang on. Please hold. Mm. Oh, this is a good one too, okay. What would be the hat to end all hats? What would you? What could you wear on your head that would make people stop when they are doing and stare in awe and amazement? Okay, uh, it's from the show. It's Doug Dim Dome's hat. Doug Dim Dome. Dim Dome. How would I spell that hat? H A T. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna show it to you, but if you're at home, just oh. Google Doug. Dim a dome, D I M M A dome hat, and I'm gonna show it to the camera too. There's his hat. Yeah, that's. It's basically really tall. The, uh, yeah, the tall hat. I'm just, it goes like the brim of it goes past the sides. <laughs> well, that's probably good for like when it's hot, like that. Yeah. I give it some shade. No, if it's like raining or something, it just like all trickles down on it and then into the broom and then if it fails, then your oh. face is wet. It could be like, oh, if the water is stored in it, it could be like a little bird bath. <laughs> <laughs> or it's good to just kind of. like um, drinking stores. You put a bowl in it and put a straw in it. Or a yeah. straw. Uh, what's your answer? Mine? Um, <laughs> I don't know, because I, I'm thinking of that hat set I've already seen. I, I'm, I'm always amazed and fascinated by the ones with the little pinwheel thing on it. <laughs> like the little, like the little the beanie. Helicopter blade. Yeah, the little, the little helicopter hat. I love those. I want one of them. I mean, it's right there. I mean, it's, it's impossible just to have one and not if people, like, laugh or, like, because it's funny. Just on not that they're, like, saying, I'm this dork, but, like... <laughs> And I don't know about being amazed, I mean, but it's still like an awe, like... Yeah, like, I think because you see it on TV so much, you yeah. never see someone actually wear it, and just be in awe of that, but you actually got all of them. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could, like, if you went to, like, the airport or something, and just, like... <laughs> just fly off. Or, like, just fly, hey, I'm ready to yeah. go. And my propellers, I'm good to go. I want one. I need to get one. 
Yeah. Just, just father and son propeller hat. <laughs> we could walk our invisible dog. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the store and oh, that'd be so amazing. It could be done. Yes, it could be done. We gotta think. We just could not make eye contact. Mm -hmm. No. But I, I, I would have no problem just going there. Cause after a while, you forget it's on. Yeah, and we have our masks on. Anyways, we have our masks on. That's true. And if we like chuckle or smile a little bit. That's. Genius. Mm -hmm. Okay, but still, I think if, no, we, if we made eye contact, contact once, though. Yeah, we'd have to duct our eyes. Well, how are we gonna get around the store? Uh, uh, see the vision. Okay. Yeah, or maybe sunglasses. <laughs> well, we just like sunglasses, sunglasses with side. pieces of cardboard taped to the sides. No, like we I, we could wear the propeller hat and have those glasses, like with the little springs at the eyeballs that come out. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but we couldn't see each other. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's good to go. It's a perfect outfit. Well, good. Yeah. Perfect way to end the show. Okay, right. so. All right. Well, thanks, sir. Talk to you later. Morning.